The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! Welcome back to another Dance Bird video, you Danimals. It was a blast to take a break from my shiny hunting on TikTok Live to get back into some terror raids with the Danimal Kingdom. As always, it was an electric night one stream where we came up with the build featured in this video. I was hoping to find something a little bit more creative, but I came crawling back to Belly Bolt. This full build and strategy are in the description, but I'm gonna go through it quickly. Why Belly Bolt? Because of that combination of Electromorphosis, which grants Belly Bolt the effects of the move charge every time it's hit. This means that every time Belly Bolt is hit with a move, its next electric type move has its power doubled. It has an incredible move to power up in Parabolic Charge, which restores HP while dealing damage. Acid Spray powers up Parabolic Charge, and Chilling Water allows Belly Bolt to debuff Dondozo for some survival. Parabolic Charge provides the healing for this build, so we can use the Metronome Held item for some extra damage. As for its stats, I gave it max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, and the final four in HP. I give mine a bold nature for a little extra bulk, but you could just as easily use a modest nature for some extra firepower. But don't just take my word for it, let's see the frog in action. We're gonna start with some Chilling Waters. I like to do two. That way we get uh, Dondozo's attack down. We don't want to rely on our AI allies. In this case, we, we have an Arcanine, that helps us. We get some extra healing from Arbolova, and the Grass Terrain will help us take less damage from Earthquake. We like that. What we don't like is we're not going to want to use Electric Terrain while we have Arbolova because it's going to block that. It's going to just put down Grass Terrain. So we're, you probably won't bother with Electric Terrain with Arbolova. So we're just going to use Chilling Water twice. If we fall asleep, we can go ahead and just use a Heal Cheer. We'll wake on up, no problem. And we'll use three Acid Sprays and we'll attack. So. I'll tell you when you can use electric terrain. It's it's uh it's up to you. Deal electric terrain later will help you deal 50% more damage, but I think we're fine without it. I was really trying if you were watching the stream, I was trying to use Electros, Almit, I was trying Lorantis. I wanted to get really creative with it, but just like Thanos in Avengers Endgame, you I couldn't live with my own failure. And look where it brought me. Back to Belly Bolt. So I'm going in Acid Spray. I'm gonna Acid Spray three times. I was gonna charge our Terra Orb up and lower Dondozo's special defense. Uh, Dondozo has a much lower special defense than physical defense, so whenever possible, we're gonna prefer going with uh, going with special attackers. Okay, I heal cheer now because we're asleep from the yawn. If we have the electric terrain down, we wouldn't worry about it, but that's fine. The yawn, it only hits one out of four people. Not the biggest deal. So we're going to Acid Spray up to three. So I know this Terror Raid may not be hitting like the other, but I also, I just love that the Terror Raids give me and my community a reason to get together. I love solving the puzzle, the problem solving that goes with the new raid, the night one, it's really fun energy. I'm still hoping against hope that we get seven star Cory on a Miridon. Maybe we won't, I hope we do, but okay. Back to Acid Spray, we want Acid Spray three times. So for review, we have Two Chilling Waters, then three Acid Sprays. The Heal Cheer, we need to wake up because, you know, you can't attack if you're asleep. You can mix in Electric Terrain after the third Acid Spray to do extra damage, but you just, you don't really need to do all that. It's pretty simple enough. And if you get in low, if you get low in HP, you want to just use Parabolic Charge. So that's quite unfortunate because we've done a whole mess of work negating its negative effects. So what we'll do when it negates its own negative effects, you know, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. So the strategy is in the description, but when it negates its own negative effects, what we need to do is Chilling Water two more times. Two more times. But that'll be there. That way we survive the hits. And again, if we get low on your HP, use Parabolic Charge to get us back to green HP. But at this point, it only clears its debuffs once. So once we Acid Spray it back down to minus six, we are big chilling. So let's see what we're at. One more chilling water, we're at 170. So the crit will hurt us. The crit, we are in danger of crit range. So I'm gonna go with this chilling water and our HP is gonna be fairly low at this point. So we'll go into using Parabolic Charge. The Wave Crash put us down to 120. Maybe... 
All right, fine. All right, fine. Now we go. Now, now we'll parabolic charge. We'll have our power. We we aren't buffing our stats, so we don't have to worry about unaware because I mean, Dondoza with unaware, good raid, good raid. I do want to make sure I give credit to Game Freak. This raid rocks. It has great coverage for Avalanche. Great coverage with a uh, Earthquake. Earthquake for the Electric Pokemon. Avalanche for the Ice for the Grass Pokemon. So it's got great coverage. Unaware is a great ability. Credit to Don Dozo. Yeah, credit to Game Freak. It's fun. Just give us seven star cord on Miridon. So now we'll start doing damage. Yeah, the extra animations from the grassy terrain does add damage. I am reading the chat. All right, that's good damage. That's good damage. Heal us. Heal us. Heal us. Beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I might end up alternating acid sprays and parabolic charges. I know we won't get the boost from parabolic charge and metronome just yet. But. Let's do a quick stat check. We'll see. We need to get the stats down. Yeah, the grassy terrain does add more animation time, and animation time does matter. Uh, it's definitely one of the, the little nuances of terror raids. Like, leftovers is good. It helps your support mons, but leftovers takes more time. The animations from grassy terrain and Arbalva, it takes up more time, but at least it makes it not want to use Earthquake, so that helps. You see, we're not taking much damage. We like that. But I'm still going... Will I alternate? I'm at 280, so you know what? I'm at 280, so I'm going to feel a little ambitious and go for a second acid spray. But if I get any lower than this, I want to, I guess, probably Parabolic Charge, right? Because I want to stay at a critical hit range because we've Terrastalized, and once we Terrastalize, the critical hit will end our run. I, I don't know. We're right there. 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 Ah, uh, I'm going to just Parabolic uh, Acid Spray again. So we like to Acid Spray down to get it to minus six. That way, once we get it down to minus six with Acid Spray, then we can just Parabolic Charge a couple times and win the match to do some big old damage. Otherwise, we'll chip away and it'll take a little bit longer. Let's see. Again, beautiful, beautiful. Now we should be good to go. Now we're pressing A. So to review, uh, chilling, uh, I mean, I probably don't need to review because you can read the description, but your chilling water is to keep you alive because you won't always have an intimidator. So sometimes we'll be taking more damage. And then we can acid spray. And then when it negates, we do the same song and dance again. Now that's gaming. That's gaming. That's good damage. Only a couple more. Only a couple more hits there. That's why we acid spray. Also, another good teammate would be Gardevoir. Gardevoir. But I'm definitely curious to read the comments of this one to see what kind of Pokemon you guys are cooking up. I've heard rumors of a Miradon, or no, Miradon, solo one hit KO. Would love to have seen Palm at work, because Palm is a cutie. There's the curse, though. There's the curse. Okay. Don Dozo does use curse. If it spammed it like Meganium did, this thing would have been different. But I'm feeling a two hit knockout? Or is the sun not setting on the Danimal Kingdom right now? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Big damage? Little damage? Big damage? Ooh, big boy damage. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. All right, so now we're one hit away. So, yeah. Let me know what Pokemon you're using. And let me know. I want to know that. Yeah, that's it. Just no thoughts. Just Belly Bolt. I, hope we, I wanted to use something other than Belly Bolt. But I came crawling back. But once again, Belly Bolt makes us... Oh, come on. Come on. We get it. We get it. The timer's getting pretty low. Hey, big guy. Sun's getting real low. But once again! Oh, come on. Okay. I'd really like to use a move now. Hello? Yeah, I'd like to game now. Please! Sir! Okay. Once again! Belly Bolt makes sure that the sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! A little arrow for that. I, I, I don't know. I I just, I don't know I, that, what the, where the arrow came from. That was a spur of the moment thing. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. But now we got to figure out what are we catching this thing in? What Pokeball are you using to catch Seven Star Dondozo in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the Die Ball. It's blue. It looks like the catfish. It looks like the fish. So let me know in the comments what Pokeball you're using to catch Dan Dozo. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, 
leaving a comment or using parabolic charge on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching and happy Don Dozo season. <laughs>